Well, welcome to Rick's Corner. We're back with Rich Piana. We've gotten into all kinds of subjects, and he had wanted to mention camaraderie in the gyms, how it was back in the 70s, how it is today, because it's a completely different ball game today. Back in the 70s, we all hung together. We were all uh, uh, encouraging each other to train. We'd go out together. We wouldn't badmouth one another. It was just a really good family of bodybuilders, and we had a lot of fun together. It was weekends at the beaches and nights at the clubs, and everybody was everybody's friend. But today, you say it's different. Oh, it's very different. And, you know, I, I wasn't around in the 70s. Well, I was, but I wasn't bodybuilding yet. <laughs> but for me, it was the late 80s, early 90s, you know, yeah. and it was the same as you speak of, you know, at the gym. The thing is, is that bodybuilding was always a cult sport, you know, that yeah. wasn't really accepted by the public. So, you know, you're talking about, you know, a lot of these people would look look at the guys that are big and be like, oh, those guys are freaks. And why would you want to look like that? And we're talking about the general public. So yeah. you would expect that the freaks would at least, you know, stick together together. You know, and yeah. not not hate on each other because yeah. you know everyone else is hating on them. Right. And um, it, it was that way, and it was nice because you go to the gym, and it was a big family, and it was fun, and you know there wasn't you know there wasn't any kind of uh, insecurity or oh that guy's bigger than me, and is, is this guy bigger than me? And you know the women are like oh look at her what she's wearing, you know why is she wearing that, and she shouldn't be wearing that in the gym, and there's all this you know craziness. And back then it wasn't like that. It was just about working out, having a good time, and enjoying what we love together. Exactly. I mean, I see I see a lot of guys in the gym, and they all kind of walk around with attitudes, younger guys especially, and they might be taking a little juice or whatever they're doing. They're getting a little puffy look on them, so they're walking around flexed, and they're kind of like badasses, giving everybody hard looks. And I think, why do you do that? We're all here to work out and have a good time. There's no reason to be that way. And I, I don't know some of them. They don't know me, but I want to say, you know, I've been there and done that 30, 40 years ago. I had what you want, and now I'm still that guy, but that I don't like. Yeah. It's, there's no need for that type of an attitude. And all the guys, I see like the guys from the beach back in the 70s when I run into them, it's like old home week. It's like seeing old relatives. They're always happy to see one another. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, when we were at Venice and we ran into yeah, everybody that exactly, day. Exactly. Everybody. That was great. It was fun. It was it's, awesome. That's the best time in my life to be see these people and reminisce about old times and how we trained. Some of the guys are still in decent shape and some aren't. You know, I mean, it's life changes people and, you know, illnesses and injuries and all that as well. But the gyms are like that today. And, and, um, Back then at Golds, we didn't. We only had two women in the whole gym. Yeah, and everybody trained hard. The two women trained hard as well. We all even showered together. I've mentioned that before. There's one shower, and everybody used it. You turn around, and a woman say, "Hey, you want to hand me the soap?" She was like six three. Sure. You know, here you go. Bend over. <laughs> <laughs> so in those showers, uh, yeah. it would be nice if people did drop the soap. Huh? Yeah, back then, <laughs> they actually shared the sauna as well. But today, I mean, uh, I like where we go to Golds. I think it's a good hardcore gym. It kind of reminds me of the days of old because the people go there to train, they do their thing, and they leave. Now you go to the other gyms that are a little bit more uh, plush, and they've got all the other amenities. It's a fashion show. Yeah. And and everybody's showing off and think they're the top notch, and they're really not. And it's like it's the attitude is totally different. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think the biggest thing is, I mean, a lot of people are driven to bodybuilding because of um, insecurity. You yeah. know, they're insecure with themselves. Right. You know, maybe they were picked on in high school. You know, they got to become more of a man. They got to show everybody, you know, that whole getting sand kicked in the face, you know, yeah. cartoon. Yeah. And so they're drawn to bodybuilding, you know, and so, but that insecurity stays with them. Yeah. You know, and it comes out, comes out, you know, on Facebook and blah, blah, blah. You know, when you see these people, these guys that, you know, in their profiles, they're posing and flexing and, you know, and then they see a guy bigger and they have to say something bad about him because they're, they're completely, insecure. Completely threatened. That someone looks better than them. And, exactly. you know, my whole thing is like, I would hope that we're Iron Brothers, you know, we're a group that well, all yeah. enjoy working out and accomplishing the same things. And when you go and you look at certain people and you talk to certain people on Facebook, you know, it's, it's, it's a camaraderie that we yes. don't have anymore. Well, and it's, it's, it's sad. It is sad because I, there's a lot of people that know me and know you. There's some people who don't know me or know you. And those haters on YouTube who don't know me will say, Oh, look at that old man. What does he know? First of all, I'm not old. I'll never be old. I'm still 18. <laughs> and I have more knowledge in that stump right there than you guys that say those things will ever have in your lifetime in bodybuilding. So yeah. you better take it from the horse's mouth what we know and what we do because we're trying to give you good advice. And there's no reason to hate anybody who looks better. I will be out with a girl and I'll see a guy look good and I'll tell her, Hey, look at that guy. That guy's in great shape. Yeah. I admire it. I go up and tell him. I said, you know what? You look damn good. Oh, really? I said, yeah, you look great. Yeah. Why not? There's no threat to me. Yeah, it's amazing. There, there are people out there that are like you say. Yeah. How you are, and you know, sometimes I'll be working a booth, and a guy will say, "Wow, you know, you have a great body. Would you mind taking a picture with my girlfriend? I want to have a picture of her and you together." Which yeah. to me is like, I'm like, "Wow, hats down. This guy's, yeah. you know, he's so secure with himself. Exactly. You know, he's, he's in front of his girlfriend telling me how great I look. Right. 
he is encouraging her to take a picture with me. Right. And she doesn't even seem like she wants to, to be honest. She doesn't know. And I'm like, care. okay, this guy is about as secure as he could possibly be with himself. Exactly. You know? And it's great to see someone like that, you know, who doesn't have that hate, that jealousy. And, you know, the same with the bodybuilding shows. Um, you know, when you do go to a bodybuilding show nowadays, um, you know, there's always those guys in the show that, you know, that maybe they don't look as good as they could or as good as you think they should. or But nobody knows how much work they put in to that contest, you know, and when I used to compete, a lot of times, you know, I would die for two or three weeks and I would just show up, slap some tan on, you know, and, and maybe I would do good, you know, right. but it wasn't because, it was because, you know, I had put all the years into training and genetics and so on and so forth, but there's guys out there that don't have superior genetics, you right. know, they don't really know what they're doing, and, you know, I know guys that have trained for, you know, two years for a show, they're talking about doing a show two years from now. Right. They go on the show and you know they they place last you know they don't look that great you know and people in the audience will laugh at them yes and make fun of them right and make jokes and it's like you don't know what that person put in well, to that contest and how hard he worked i mean exactly there's obviously degrees i mean i'm not talking about someone who looks like they never touched a weight no but you know the thing is is that i feel that you know that you should respect that person and you know I, I assume I like to clap and cheer that person on and at least they have the balls to get up on stage. And that's the whole thing right there. And compete. That's the whole thing right there. You guys that compete, and maybe you not might be at a certain level, but you know what? You've got the guts to get up and pose in front of somebody. It takes a lot, and that takes a lot of guts, and it takes a lot of self-discipline and, exactly. and, and be insecure with yourself. And more power to you when you do that. You'll only get better than what you do. If you can do that and take your clothes off in front of, you know, two or three, four hundred people and pose up there, you've got balls. Yeah. And, you know, you see, you see a guy post a picture on Facebook, you know, and he says... You know, I've been dieting for six weeks. I'm this far from the show. Okay, regardless how that, if that guy looks, you know, whether he's a, a 10 or a 3 on a scale of 1 to yeah. 10, he's trying to accomplish his goal. Exactly. And he wants feedback right. and he's motivated, you know, and there's no reason for me not to say, hey, you look great. Great job. Right. You know, there's no reason not for me. I mean, even though I'm, maybe I, I feel, oh, well, I look better than him. Well, so what? So what? The point is, he's working hard and... There's, there's a possibility he's working harder than I am. Yeah, you know, he could be working out three hours a day, doing an hour of cardio, you know, and I'm working out whatever, you know. Yeah, and, and, and struggling not to get the exact result he wants where it's coming to you, but he's because, busting his ass. Exactly, to because of genetics. And there's right. no reason not, you know, for us all to motivate each other. Right. And be on each other's side, you know, and it is, we're all out there trying to accomplish the same thing, and we right. can all help each other out and feed off each other's motivation. And there's really no room for hating. Not at all. And that's, that's what I'm trying to say. And that's the say. same thing with you haters on, on YouTube. and they're, they're, uh, That's on every sport or every YouTube that's out there. And you sit and you criticize us or people like us. And because you're sitting home, and I guarantee you won't take your shirt off to show your body because you probably don't have one. And that's why you're criticizing everybody else or you haven't reached level. But maybe you are trying to compete. Maybe you need this motivation. doesn't mean we don't like you. We're behind you too. You know, you can throw out all the trash you want us. But if you want to compete and you want motivation, you want us to be behind you, we're behind you. We want to see you attain your goals. And so don't hate anybody. The next time you're in the gym and you go up to some guy and you tell him, hey, man, you look really great. You're coming along really well. You'll be surprised how good that makes you feel, that you complimented somebody else. Exactly. It's all the key. And you have a new friend. And you have a new friend. And you never know what that could bring you in the future. Maybe you'll learn something from him. Maybe I'll have a million dollar company and hire you. <laughs> you never know. Thanks, Rich. That's great. That's just really good info. And I hope you guys take this to heart and use it. And like I say, next time you're in the gym, pay somebody a compliment. It'll come back to and you. And stay positive. Stay positive all the way around. Thank you so much. All right. Care Thank brother. you, sir. Take care of that leg. Yeah, I will. Stay tuned for more Rick's Corners. we got more coming your way. Rich will be back. For sure. Don't forget to buy your original Gold Gym t-shirt with my signature and the World Gym Gorilla with my signature at bodybuilding.com. Buy it now before they run out. It's rickdrayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.